Howdy folks, it's Qwerty Avra here bringing you another Train Simulator 2016 video. Today is quite a nice one because I finally, well we finally have a scenario that I can actually play using the Heathrow Connect livery on the Class 360-2. Here it is. The skin itself has been out for quite some time. Uh, it's a, a skin from our, uh, our friend Super Albs, who if you don't know Super Albs, Super Albs just, uh, well, well he, he's a a skin creator and a scenario creator quite uh, dominant on the uh, Steam Workshop as well. He does some really cool skins uh, for different uh, EMUs and DMUs and, uh, and, uh, and locomotives and whatnot. And he's also uh, one of my moderators on the uh, Quake Afro uh, Twitch live stream. So uh, he's a good friend. And uh, he's finally sent me over, he actually messaged me not too long ago, uh, well he messaged me today when I was recording this, but uh, I don't know when this video will be released. So today, as of recording, uh, he sent me this scenario that he's, he's finally released on uh, the website, I think it's Great British World Works, where him and a few others uh, basically upload uh, custom skins and uh, custom scenarios and whatnot. And this is one of them, this is one I've been really waiting for, I told him uh, as soon as he was like telling me, oh yeah, I do skins and stuff like that and uh, I looked at this one I was like I want to do I want to do a video of this skin uh, on a scenario but there was no scenarios at the time so I finally waited and finally we have we have one all the links and stuff for this custom scenario will be down below and for this skin uh, I, I might just leave the, um, the link for the custom scenario because the custom scenario page on the website tells you everything you need to have and it gives you all the links to all the stuff uh, the map we are using and utilizing is the Western Main Lines by Just Trains. Uh, that's uh, the only kind of catch in terms of, like, say, if you don't have the, the map, you won't be able to run the scenario. But And then, obviously, you need all the other kind of uh, f uh, things in it. There's all other custom skins that you need as well. But the link will be down below to the web page that will take you to show you uh, what uh, stuff you need for this custom scenario with all the links to the custom skins and what not uh, to, make here, uh, to make this look like uh, what I'm running right now. Uh, the shoutouts for this video go to Fun Factor and Tyson is cool. That's again Fun Factor and Tyson is cool. Their links and stuff will be down below. Please do show them some love. Good morning, driver. After a short wait here, you are now ready to continue to Hayes and Harlington on this Heathrow Connect service to London Paddington. You will call at Hayes and Harlington, South Hall, Hanwell, West Ealing, Ealing Broadway, and London Paddington. Your attraction for this trip is a Class 360-2 in Heathrow Connect livery. As you can see here, very nice skin. I've just been, I've just been waiting so long to utilize this. Uh, I have Armstrong Powerhouse uh, sounds working, as you can hear from, from the horn. Uh, I've had also a little bit of a bug with the door animation sounds just not working. I've tried the scenario and uh, it... The, the door sounds for some reason don't work. I, I, that might be a bit off putting, but uh, to be honest, the sounds of the traction motors and the horn and stuff are working fine. It's just the doors just open silently and close silently, but shouldn't be too much of a problem or whatnot. Let's uh, set up the train quickly so we can move along so we don't waste any time. Uh, we just really have to put on the pantograph there on that button. Uh, put the reverser in forward. Wait for the AWS reset sequence. There we go. Cancel that. And then we need to put on the lights. There we go. Very nice. And to be honest, we could just depart from out here so you guys can hear the lovely AP sounds. Let's uh, get going. There we go. Off we go on our little Heathrow Connector service to London Paddington. We're starting here at... Uh, the airport junction approach onto Hayes and Harlington. Unfortunately, the, uh, there's no Heathrow Airport in the actual game or on this uh, Western Main Lines or the original First Great Western Main Line map. Uh, it would be nice if in the future maybe someone takes it as a project to uh, uh, to do a... Oh, my mouse just glitched there a little bit. It would be cool in the future if someone actually did it as a project where um, they make uh, you know a Heathrow Airport link or whatnot to like Heathrow Terminal 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5 and whatnot because you know it could be cool like you know like the Glasgow Airport link is a, a great example even though that's 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 fictional that's fictional and this um, this is non-fiction this is real life so maybe someone could maybe do it in the possible future who knows that would be a cool thing to uh, to have as an idea there 
But we are doing, we're now connecting up back onto the uh, the uh, first Great Western Main Line, as you can see here. These actual tracks that lead off here into uh, the back uh, of, uh, we'll get some HST acts in here somewhere. Oh, very nice. These actual tracks here that actually go back into Heathrow Airport are, are very interesting tracks. They're actually, like, not included in the Nash, uh, in the network rail network the whole british network because like all the tracks and stuff that you see and you ride on probably are belong to network rail and like you know Brit the british railway or whatnot these tracks that go into heathrow airport actually do not at all belong uh to uh uh to network rail they're like pro some sort of private um some sort of private it's it, it's probably owned by heathrow uh, and uh, th yeah, it, it it doesn't have to abide by the uh, typical like uh, network rail laws and stuff like that. So it, it's it's basically its own section. And I think I watched that on a uh, I think it was a Londonist video. I think when they were actually allowed to travel on the uh, uh, inside the tunnel and whatnot. It's mainly just a tunnel uh, to Heathrow Airport, and that whole section is basically just private, and it has nothing to do with network rail, nothing to do with the British Main Line and what uh, whatnot. Which is a cool fact, if you didn't know that. Now, there is something up ahead here that I'm concerned about. Okay, so that's giving me a clear. Because when I've tested this... Uh... Okay, that's... Okay, good. That's there. When I've tested this scenario, uh, this junction here um, was switched because there was another service that came in. And I think it's because I was taking too long at the very beginning to... Uh, uh, to to get going and it basically then switched because another AI train actually came into Hayes and Harlington and didn't allow me to go through and I derailed here where now I'm actually switching points. A little fun fact there when I was testing out this scenario. Hopefully we shouldn't have any problems now. We're just going to be now nicely switching over, entering platform four here in Hayes and Harlington and uh, then we'll probably see the actual AI train that I actually basically came late to and was actually here before when I was actually testing out this scenario and uh, Basically, I derailed here where we're actually switching uh, junctions, but uh, that's uh, that's 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 testing for you. <laughs> anyway, entering Hayes and Hollington here on this uh, first Heathrow Connect service to London Paddington. There we go. One thing I've actually noticed that these platforms are severely short. That's one thing because I think this train like this five car train consist is like the longest thing that travels on these stopping services on these station because if you've imagined uh, most class 166 networkers are what three car two car you know what I mean that they, they are so short and uh, this is like the longest thing so basically most of these platforms don't even have to be that long so that's why uh, let's just uh, let's get a screenshot here of that There we go, that's the screenshot there, done. Got some one sixes coming in and not. That's a custom uh, skin there, right there as well. Next station is white. Oh, that's fine. As you can hear, you can't hear any of the actual closing door animations, but that's fine. This one doesn't bother us too much. Right. Let's see if we can actually catch up to that guy over there. That just went. I doubt it, but we could try. Right, we're too, it seems to be we're like two minutes late, which is unfortunate, but we'll see if we can catch up on the delay. There we go, off she goes. There we go. Nicely does it. It's really, really nice skin. I love this guy like, contrasting colours. I love the like dark navy blue. And then the uh, striking kind of neon orange. I think it's really good. Those kind of colours work really, really well. Like if you didn't know, like blue and orange are like complementary colours. They, they, they just they just work so well together. And also there is a uh, passenger view, which is really nice. And it is done up in the Heathrow Connect livery. So this is what you would see in a Heathrow Connect train, which is really nice. I think these trains have been like uh, modified and whatnot because obviously they go into an airport and whatnot, so they have like certain things ch uh, changing, you know, a bit different to normal mainland trains, as well as the I think the Siemens 
triple freeze. I think, I think they're triple freeze. There's either the free 20, which I think Norden uses, and I think it's triple freeze uh, for the... No, not the triple freeze. I'm not too sure. Free 20s, and there's free free 2s. Class free free 2s, I think. I'm not too sure. Right. I'm going to have to be slowing down here. Entering into South Hall. South Hall sidings here to our right. And whatnot. There we go. Brakes on this uh, unit, the 360, are good. They're not as bad as the 450, which I'm really, really thankful for. Because if you have known my experiences with the, the 450, it is not good. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to try and enter in a modest 25. 20? Under 20? Good. Yeah, we're under 20. Because these platforms just about accommodate a uh, five-car 360 Heathrow uh, Connect service. There we go. Doors are open. Let me see if we can do any sort of. To be honest, each station here can be done a. Uh, uh, could do a, a screenshot. To be honest, be hard to pick. Uh, pick one. Like that. I don't know. South Hall. There we go. Do one like that. Nice. I'm not doing it on this side because you can see there's a shadow and here there's the sun actually pointing on to the actual livery. Right. Get back in here. Oh. Wrong button. Forward we go. I'm very happy that this scenario is finally available. Like uh, again, links and stuff will be down below. Uh, it's fairly simple to download the skins, the custom skins for these trains. Uh, they're very simple, just easy uh, extract of files, and then you just install with the utilities program, um, with the package manager, and then you just basically copy over a few geo files and. That's pretty much it. Then you just clear catch, it, uh, clear the cache in game, and you're pretty much good to go. I don't think I've had any sort of problems in terms of skins yet with this scenario. I think I think there was a little bit of a problem with a one six six where uh, it had a, it was a six car, and uh, I think half of the train was invisible. But I'm, uh, I don't think that's occurring in this run of the scenario. So so far, I've not found any sort of problems or whatnot. The skins all are really good. The uh, first Great Western one, the plain one, the, just, just the plain blue one's really nice, and the inside's been done up really nicely. I love these signals. Really do. Nice modern signals there, because of the, uh, it's, we're playing the uh, Just Trains, uh, main, uh, the uh, just, tra uh, just Trains Western Main Line. It's very nice. Can we hear, I don't know what these bridges are, these are, these are, I don't know what, I don't know, and uh, that's the DSD there, I don't know what, if, if that goes over a river or somewhat, I'm not too sure. Gonna coast now a little bit into Hanwell, Hanwell I, I do believe has really, really short platforms, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess about here, I'm gonna take the, uh, the initiative to start slowing down a little bit here, uh, prematurely, because... Uh, Hanwell looks like a like a like a like a miniature kind of heritage station actually to be honest. You'll see what I mean once we enter it. It's kind of funny. We are now arriving at Hanwell. This is your Heathrow Connect service to London Paddington. There we go. You see what I mean? Look at this. It looks like a, and and the platform levels are so so short. You'll, what you will see, we'll see actually when we get out of here. But this, it just feels like a little kind of miniature station or some sort of heritage station, but it's not. Anyway, let's just crawl a little bit more forward. That should be fine. There we go. Do you see now what I mean about the platform level here? It's a bit uh, on the short side. I don't know if this is actually legit in real life, but that's a pretty big gap. And if you ask, actually, I've seen gaps like this. It, the gaps like this actually do exist. I don't think to this kind of extreme. I think maybe up to this kind of base of the 
kind of gray uh, line you see here where I'm using my mouse. I think I've seen that uh, that kind of extent, uh, extent to a gap and a kind of height difference uh, on uh, Southwest trains, I think on Wandsworth Common or Wandsworth Road. Uh, I think maybe they've built an extended and heightened up the platforms by now, but when I was going to college, there was a huge gap uh, when you were coming off like a 450 or whatnot. Anyway, doors are now closed. Very nice. Key for connect, off it goes. Oh, let's go to full power. Even though our next station is in less than a mile, which is uh, West Ealing. We'll do, we'll do fine. First Great Western uh, Class 4 free there. Very nice. I don't think the scenario utilizes the uh, the green GWR livery. I think we, there's some one six, Class 1.6s that are utilizing the custom uh, skin for that, but not the Class 4 free. I think the Class 4 free, there's a custom skin that you have to have, which is the Anniversary um, uh, Intercity 125 uh, uh, skin. Which is like the blue and yellow one with the nameplate, I do believe. And this is another fellow Heathrow Connect service here. I wonder how many actually Heathrow Connect services they do in a in an hour. Maybe it's maybe two, possibly. I wouldn't think it would be a lot. I would think, obviously, because whoever owns Heathrow Connect, they want to have ma the majority of the you know the um, the. Uh, the, the, the passengers, I'm, I'm, I'm presuming, because obviously they charge a lot more, so they'll make a lot more money. While I guess Heathrow Connect is a lot cheaper to go on, so people would be like, okay, I'm going to go on Heathrow Connect. So I guess they, there's probably more Heathrow Express services per hour than um, than uh, Heathrow Connect services, because I think Heathrow Express goes every 15 minutes. I think, I think. It's not as long as uh, Gatwick Express, because obviously Gatwick's further away. Gatwick's like every half hour, but Heathrow Express is every is every um, 15 minutes, I think. The next station is Ealing Broadway. Thank you very much. There's no actually alerts. I don't think... Are they guards on Heathrow Connect? I think they are guards on Heathrow Connect. On Heathrow Connect. But I don't have any sort of signal bell or, uh, or thing in here. I don't think I do. No. That's fine. Me myself, I actually n have never actually been on like Heathrow Connect or Heathrow Express. I've been on Gatwick Express because I pretty much use Gatwick predominantly. But recent years, I've been using Heathrow again because of like che just cheaper. Con I've been trying to use basically cheaper connecting flights than just direct flights, which most of the direct flights that I normally get, like say if I'm gonna, like, going to Croatia or whatnot, I take from Gatwick but if I want to make it cheaper and use connecting flights then from Heathrow is the the way to go or, or even London City as well never been to London City and uh, I was going to go last year when I actually when I was going to Croatia I was going to go through London City but we managed to find like a cheaper one that was uh, on um, uh, going through uh, Heathrow instead but I feel that like using like Heathrow Express or Gatwick Express like normally if I'm going with like family or whatever or in a group we normally take like a cab or something while I feel if I'm going by myself, then I would easily take like Heathrow Express or Gatwick Express. So if I'm traveling by myself, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably, I'll probably take Heathrow Express if the opportunity comes. We're now approaching Ealing Broadway, where you can change for uh, London Underground Central and uh, District lines. There we go, just a bit more. There's no stopping markers or anything, so I'm just, I'm taking a guess, really. There we go. Nice. Can we possibly, oh, I don't think this station's that photogenic, to be honest. And I don't like that shadow. But this is Eden Broadway within on the Western Main Lines. I like the uh, the platform textures better than the actual, because obviously the original default first, rest, uh, first Great Western Main Line is very bland. Well, this is better. It's obviously still plain because this is well, the Western Main Lines is one of like the biggest uh, DLC kind of uh, 
uh, like routes available in the game. So uh, I'm, I'm not too surprised why. Let's actually see maybe if like here. Hmm. I'll take that. That looks nice. I'll take that as a screenshot. That's fine. Right. On to Paddington, like in five miles. A nice little express part. We don't obviously stop at Acton Mainline because that's not our duty. That's predominantly just First Great Western or Great Western Railway now, as it is, as it's been rebranded. One thing I actually didn't know is that first own Keyfro Connect. Which I was, uh. It's funny, I thought Heathrow Connect was actually part of Heathrow Express. I thought it was just a subdivision where they just had a connecting service and also an express service. But then, like, the skin <laughs> shows clearly a first <laughs> symbol logo. As you can see there, the district line and the central line branching off. Very nice. And nicely speed up, hopefully to 80. We can get to 80 and actually hold it a bit before we have to start slowing down into the into the capital. Oh, a bit of construction mark here. I wonder if that's for Crossrail. Because <laughs> Crossrail is actually happening pretty soon, if you think about it. I think what's the first service in 2018 or 2020? Which is, you know, it's still a couple of years off, but it's pretty, pretty soon to be honest. In like relative years, you know, that's not that far away. There we go. Level two to anyone on the on the platform. These tracks here on the left, I do believe they're for freight predominantly. They go to like uh, older, uh, older common like junction point and whatnot. And also, I do believe if you keep going up there, that then connects up to the uh, connects up to the uh, London Overground uh, Richmond line as well. But we're passing right now above our heads. Yep. And now, the lovely depots, which maybe the FPS will hold. I don't know. This is normally where, yep, the SPS is starting to tank. Got some uh, other units there. And then on the right is the new Hitachi Depot. Which you can even see some, a Class 8 uh, uh, class eight one, which is pretty cool. Uh, in real life, that used to be before the Eurostar Depot, before they moved everything to San Pancras and changed from Waterloo. Everything would be held here. Oh, and as you can see, that is the anniversary custom skin there. Just quickly to notice it. But yeah, that, that, that depot there was is now Hitachi because of the class, uh, uh, the 800s and the 801s are uh, coming in soon. While before that used to be Eurostar, which was cool. I remember like going on like Silverlink Metro, like down to like uh, Shepherd's Bush and Clapham Junction and seeing sometimes the Eurostar trains, the TGVs literally on the North London line. Uh, trying to like connect uh, into there to go into the into the depot. It was like so bizarre like this There's such long trains remember that you have to remember that they are really really long trains And then all of a sudden they're on like a normal line that sees like a you know a free car a free or a four car train And then you have like a, a, a like a 18 car 20 car train just coming through and you're just like yeah, that's crazy <laughs> All that good stuff and some double yells now. I'm guessing we might be held up in front of Paddington. There might be some uh, platform uh, switches and whatnot. And uh, maybe it's full. Who knows? It's about nine, uh, nine thirty-two. That's that's kind of end of rush hour. So maybe, maybe some, uh, maybe some waiting for some trains. Possibly. It would be cool to see some actual AI flowing in and out of the station. There we go. Just getting loads of AAS, AWS uh, warnings now. It's for a single yellow, so I'm guessing. I'm going pretty much guess that it's going to be red. Oh no, is this. No, that's single. That's fine. Just keep it on, uh, on minimum here now. 
coming in. I think all of this on the left nowadays is just getting really built up for uh, uh, for Crossra. I do believe this on the on the left. Oh, hello. Oh, we're swi Oh, that could be why a reason why we were getting yellows. We're probably switching tracks. Oh. Let's uh, have a little zoom in. Uh, I think that's uh. I think that's a green, and here begins the cross rail working site of the class 166 with a mixture of uh, of Barbie and uh, and plane livery, which is kind of fun. Oh, we get uh, green light. Yeah, so it was just for changing uh, changing points. So as you can see there, this is all the cross rail. Kind of project site. I think they've advanced. I, I think it does still kind of relatively look like that now, but uh, could be. I think this is probably based on maybe a few, maybe a year or two ago. But I think now it's a bit more on the way. But it is pretty much like this in real life. That's all boarded up. Hammersmith and City and Circle Line tracks now coming to our left, and then that's Royal uh, Royal Oak Tube Station there. You don't, uh, I don't, you know, I, I just remember that this is this route isn't actually built by Dovetail Games. So, oh, oh, did they actually have? Oh, they have actually Royal Oak, uh, the Roundels and whatever. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't actually, I didn't actually think the Roundels would be in there. Oh, they are. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, Madame et Monsieur, uh, we are now approaching London Paddington where this train terminates. Please be sure to take all your personal belongings with you when departing off the train. Change here for other First Great Western services. Heathrow Express, London Underground, Bakerloo, Hammersmith and City, Circle and District Line services. Again, please have all your personal belongings when departing the train. We welcome you to London. Oh my god, yes. Hearing all of those HSTs with the glorious... The glorious M MTU engines. Very empty station. But also the station's nicely done up from, like, its uh, uh, original... Uh, you know, route. It's it's been it's been given some life, some new textures, which is really really nice. It's not that busy. You obviously don't have the Heathrow Express trains. Uh, you don't have that that stock of train in the game, so you can't fill that up. You can't fill the station up with that. Right. Right. There we go. Excellent. Oh, there's quite a gap between the platform and the train. Holy! There we go. Maybe some, uh, maybe some screenshots if I can get in time to do a few. But there's nothing really highlighting the train. Annoyingly, there's no sunlight in here. Actually, let's... Oh, yes. Oh, the MTUs. Sadly, you were late. or missed a few stops. Try again. Well, I was late, but uh, I think that was a good job well done. I thoroughly enjoyed that. That was uh, very realistic to what a Heathrow uh, Connect service does. Obviously, the only station that wasn't there was Heathrow, which is unfortunate, but it's pretty much very accurate, and hopefully that pays uh, homage to uh, the Heathrow Express video I did actually a few years ago with the Class 390 Pendolino, which I thought was really funny, so hopefully, and also I think I did it with the Class 360 as well, I'm not, no, I only did it with the Pendolino as a video, I played it uh, as another scenario with just a plain uh, uh, G uh, E M L. Um, class 360 but this is the first time like it's now properly simulated with these custom skins and again i hope you guys um 
check them out as well uh, the links again will be down below for the uh, website for the great British Railworks where they do loads of scenarios and custom scenarios uh, super Alps, thank you again for the skin uh, and the scenario thank you for messaging me then uh, and uh, I'll definitely get round to when I get back from Scotland and whatnot to uh, play some more uh, scenarios uh, by the the crew on the website and the, the different kind of rate because they actually have quite a lot of uh, uh, scenarios uh, available to kind of play and whatnot so I'll definitely have a look at more of them and more of these skins so the shout outs again to, of this video go to Fun Factor and Tyson is cool that's again Fun Factor and Tyson is cool their links and stuff will be down below I hope you've enjoyed that guys bit of a short one but it was a nice uh, thing to look at this uh, custom uh, uh, Heathrow Connect livery skin for the Class 360 it was really nice and also on the Western Main Line to, to show off this kind of part of the route because I think I've only done so far I've only done Exeter to Bristol so it's nice to actually have a look at how this side of the route actually looks like and hopefully more videos on the Western Main Lines in the future and whatnot would be good but the only thing we did actually wrong was uh, we sped three times and apparently we didn't stop at any of the stations which is probably a bug or glitch in the actual game because I clearly did stop at uh, all six stations as you guys were seeing in evidence or maybe I didn't stop at the right marker but there was no markers or anything so I don't know where to stop so I just guessed it so maybe that was a problem I'm not too sure who cares uh, I did the scenario and uh, the scenario is called 360 Airport Connection. Again, the link's down below. If you need any help or whatnot, it's it's very uh, self-explanatory. The uh, Every uh, custom skin and stuff from these uh, from the Great British Wildlife and Super Alps all have readme files with very clear instructions of what to do in terms of extracting, installing with the package uh, manager with the, the utilities software. And then... Um, where to find the geo files to copy and paste into the uh, new skin folder that will be created when you download and extract and install uh, uh, the dot rwp files uh, with the uh, utility software but other than that you can still comment down below if you need any help with it and i'm, I'm sure super Alves will watch the video and if he if you guys have any questions he'll probably reply to you faster than i i will so uh, uh keep out uh, keep an eye out for him other than that, I hope you enjoy it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, Heathrow uh, Connect video. I will see you guys in another video. Cheers. Have a lovely day.